Yes, start from this time frame. So we should we should be right in the middle of it. Yeah, we are. Alright. So we want to we're going back in time. Try to save him. Um we already did. Hey, this place. This is the place that waits an inspector phone tonight. This is the parking lot of the park on the east side of town. It's been years. You know this park? Yeah, I used to play here a lot when I was little. But then one day, I swore I'd never set foot in this park again. Whoa, those are some really deep, dark feelings there. I wonder what happened. Hold it. Don't give me that. A ghost doesn't have a foot set bit. It's just a figure of speech. What kind of nitpicker do you think I am? Anyway, whatever. Let's get started. Alright. Let's do that. I won't press her with another thing right now. So we have to figure out what to do to make him... Alright, so that's reclining the seat and this is turning on the light. Alright. I'm not quite sure how we're going to go about solving this one, but we'll try it. Um, if I turn this light on... It doesn't look like the detective is going to come. Might as well turn it off, it's pretty loud. Alright. Check out the seat, I guess. Because the seat's the only other thing I can do. Alright, but we, we can't move anywhere else. Um... Uh, that probably won't be later because the only later that would be is after our TF2 match and our TF2 match is like probably gonna be all night, so. It tells us to stay at the radio. We already talked to him about this. What does he mean this time? Mind your own business. I like to do things my way, okay? Inspector Cabanella is pretty protective when it comes to Lynn. He'd want to know. So you're gonna phone that in. It's binoculars. Well, I can't reach that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I trick. I don't think that did me any good there. Everything seems to be really quiet on your end. Um. Is it okay for anybody else, or my volume shit hasn't changed? I'll try like moving my mic. Maybe did that work? that affect anything? Now we're even further away from... If I... Okay, so now the binoculars are in a seat. So that didn't help me, like, at all. Didn't get me anywhere. Um... So he's still fiddling with stuff. Okay, so... This is important, somebody else showed up, Lynn showed up. Alright, so we're still doing shit. Um. Alright, so he needs to get in here. So all that shit that I did did nothing. Alright, so he just put shit back. Um. Game of chicken. Sorry, but what's a game of chicken? Sorry, I better choose my audience more carefully the next time I tell a joke. Never mind that, we have to do something. Alright, so I had to figure out what the fuck, which really the only thing I can do is recline a seat. What do you think you're doing? Uh oh, I just thought I'd better do something. Well, hurry up, put the seat back up. I can't, it's too heavy. All I can do now is hope this guy has strong ab muscles. Wow, we pulled like the. So that did nothing. We still killed her. Okay, so the reclining of the seat does nothing. Also, welcome, Beast, by the way. I realized I didn't say welcome, I just answered your question. Sorry. Oops, that was my bad. I get that you felt that you had to do something, but that... Well, there really isn't much I can do once the van is moving. Should we think this? Was there any other path before that? I don't... I didn't see any other path, though. I couldn't get to anything else. Um... Hmm... Like, once he puts the binoculars in here... What the? Because so once he does it, I can't really get into anywhere. I know it's an extremely important case. B and me, apparently they're calling you a fugitive. Grown. You naughty girl, you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. 
girl's heart is a very delicate thing, you know. It's from the girl a giant chicken couldn't even kill. It did kill me. It did technically did kill her. Um, so you go put the binoculars there. All right. So if I, I wonder if the siren this time will work. Okay, so the siren does something now. All right, cool. Alright, so that did stuff, but it didn't do what I needed. Um. For some reason, I can't ghost there. I feel like I need to get over here, but I really don't know how. Hmm. What if I stay in the binoculars until the van moves? That might work. Maybe it's just your imagination. Maybe. It's weird because the sun is like out and it's really freaking bright and like it's kind of in my eyes in a weird way. It's really annoying. Also, I don't know if you know Logan, but uh, new scout guy actually asked Cole to MGE before the um, before the match. So that, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. Means he's like you know doing shit. I know. Lynn showed up. We got that. We got it already. All right. So we're gonna drive. Hopefully the binoculars will help me get to the the um, other thing. Hopefully. Um. All right. He's on the move. There's much time left. But for some reason I don't think it will. We already went through the game of chicken shit. For some reason, I just don't think that that's going to give me enough. It definitely doesn't. I can reach up here, though. It's almost time for that deal to be tonight. I don't know what it's all about, but I hear it's a pretty important case. So Blin doesn't get caught in the crossfire. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the listening device. The static is awful. I hope Detective Memory planted it somewhere where it won't be spotted. Alright, um... Trunk of all things, such a small body, probably all I have. Okay, so he's learning that shit. I really don't... Can't hear very well. And just do that again, and then I can't do anything. So I don't know... He's gonna crash anyway. So I really don't know what to do here. Cause I can't- I don't know a way to get to the back. At all. Like I didn't see any way to get there. Yeah I know, time's up. I know! I don't see a path before that though. At all. Hmm. Let me just recline the seat for shits. I just, I don't have, like, I can reach the binoculars, but then there's nowhere else to go here. Hmm. Yeah, I know, you learn about Lynn. on. Finish your shit. God damn it. Hmm. I can't get into him anywhere. And I can't reach this thing. Climbing the chair back does nothing. 
And that just pushes those over there, which doesn't do anything. Unless... Hmm... This does something, maybe? Do you move the binoculars back? Okay, you do something with the binoculars. What are these doing here? Alright. And you just show- you just shove me back there. Which doesn't do anything at all. So I can't ghost there, I can't do nothing. But that's something. Hmm. Okay, now he's on the move, we don't have much time. Um. Chicken. I just don't. I don't see anything to. Like, I can't make it over there. He doesn't do anything. Maybe I just wait a little bit? I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I don't. No, I don't hear. I can't. I don't. I have no idea. I have no clue. Do you guys have anything you want me to try? Because I, I, I have no flippin' idea. I, I feel like... Yeah, I know headphones can be dangerous, but I don't know how to stop him from wearing them. I don't even know where they are at the beginning here. Alright, so he's doing that. I don't think he notices the siren. Yeah, no, he doesn't notice that at all. Um. And I can't do anything here. No, I fucked it. Um... Hmm... I just- I don't see a path. Like, the binoculars get me here, but then I just don't... And I don't have anything from when he takes them over, I don't think. I don't think I can ghost during that. Hmm. You're done, you're doing this. So if I trick get your attention. I'm not even, like, in the binoculars. He's taking the binoculars with him? Okay, so that's new. 
Taking the binoculars with him is new. Alright, Detective Ringe, this is memory. What's the matter? It's not time for your regular report. Listen to this, there's a suspicious couple in the bar upstairs. I'm going to put a ladybug on them. A ladybug? You mean a listening device? Don't do anything to blow our cover. Inspector Cabanella will be furious. But they're doing all kinds of suspicious whispering. We have to find out what they're saying. Pick up the signal from your van. Check out their conversation for me, would you? Alright, fine. Once you get going on something, I know there's no stopping you. Thanks, later then. Hold on. Did you see a customer come in just now? A young woman with red hair and boots? Oh yeah, that restless, suspicious chick. Sure. Suspicious. I mean, come on. As soon as she sat down, she ordered three glasses of water in a row. She spilled the second glass on the table. Okay, fine. Keep your eye on her, too, if you would. You got it. Oh wow, that waitress was an undercover agent. She apparently thought you were pretty suspicious, too. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was really thirsty, so you know. Haha. Uh, no I don't. Anyway, did you hear what I heard about the listening device? We have to do something about that bug. So should we stay here or follow up on the waitress? Looks like it's time to make a decision. Um... I guess we can go there and try that and see. So I don't- it doesn't seem like I can do anything about the, uh... The headphones, because I can't do anything with them. Um... So I got this phone number to the chicken kitchen. Hey look where we are! The heart of the chicken kitchen, eh? Yep, or as most people say, the kitchen. I hope the key to preventing that accident is here somewhere. Oh, I bet it will be. You know what they say, where there's smoke and chicken, there's fire. Uh, now that you mention it, it is pretty smoky in here. Alright, so if they changed at least, that's so like a safe point, so to speak. Um... What's this do? What's wrong? I can't seem to raise the switch, it won't budge. Yeah, well, not surprising considering this whole place is sticky with grease. I bet it must be stuck. Yeah, it does feel pretty sticky, but if the switch were already raised, I bet I could manage to lower it. Um, we can't move anywhere from here. What's the scrunch and stretch this shirt? Oh, uh, okay, so we move a little bit. We rock this kettle. It does nothing. Can't get to the floor. This pot just doesn't want to budge. Uh, can't get down to there or there. Um, let's wait and see, I guess. It's smoky in here. Oh, crap, she's gonna do something. raise the lever. I don't know if the lever does the fan, I guess. Oh, the fan, it's alright. Alright, well we can push that sucker back down. Alright, so it's gonna get smoking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. When she does the fan, we're supposed to turn the chickens. I see, I see. If you can get that other chicken on the friggin' thing, it would be great. I don't think we'd- oh, 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 come on, come on, come on! Come on! Damn it, of course she saw. I don't know if I have enough time to, uh... Alright, I hope... I'm in the right pedal, I am in the right pedal. Alright, so hopefully she'll do that switch one more time. Alright. Come on. Alright, so we should be good. They should get the wrong chicken. I hope. With no bug, hopefully. You're getting buffer? Oh, Captain shit, I'm sorry, dude. I wish I could help. 
Wish I could give you my internet. Alright, so I get the wrong freaking chicken. So that's something. There, how about that? The ladybug is still sitting on the table. We did it. Alright. That guy's nose, though. La la la, chicken! That art's so beautiful. Ch this guy has a weird obsession. It's weird. It's weird. I took a bite, my heart swelled with pride, and I got goosebumps. What the heck is this? Consumed with the love of consuming. This is weird. This is really weird. At least he doesn't crash through the window anymore, so we did it. We did it. So everybody's still good. They didn't get the bug on the people, though. So I guess that's not good, but. Well, it looks like you've escaped the fate of being hammered by your horrible hen. Yes, but I still haven't escaped the worst darkness of this terrible night. I, I shot you, didn't I? There must have been some sort of complicated set of circumstances that made you do it. It's never okay to shoot a person, no matter what the circumstances. Hey, shouldn't that be my line? But anyway, you were investigating a case, and I was supposed to give you information on that case. Maybe it's time you told me about it. Tell me about the case you're looking into. Yes, I guess I should. But let's go back to the new present first. Okay, sure. So this is we're learning stuff. So that's something. Back in the new present, the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air, but I'm still thinking about Lynn. I wonder if she's still waiting for her chicken to be served. I decided to go see her. See her and ask her the questions that were still consuming me. Alright. Uh, I had to figure out how to get where I, I can't go anywhere, because this guy doesn't want to let his hat down. Come on! Come on, thank you. Uh, I guess if I dial, call the actual chicken, chicken kitchen, we can get out there. Yeah, I wouldn't wish Logan on anybody either. Would not wish Logan on anybody either. Alright, so... The disastrous accident has been completely erased. Once again, I've saved the red-headed detective from death. Saved Lynn, the criminal who stole my life. One question in particular hangs heavy on my mind. Why did she shoot me? Until I know the answer, I'll never be satisfied. And she's just like... Holy cow. Meanwhile, Lynn's appetite is apparently foremost in her mind. A golden brown chicken sits on the table in front of her. Until she eats the whole thing, she'll probably never be satisfied. Alright, so we need to make it over there. Technically, that guy should be a core, too. Since he was dead, right? Alright. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Detective Bridge. Come to see me, did you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, hi, Memory. Don't mind us. Just pretend we're not here. Why don't you try some chicken while you're here? No thanks. Just watching Lynn eat is quite enough for me. So, how did it turn out with my ladybug? Oh, that listening device? Well, let's see. I thought the gentleman had a very nice singing voice. Sorry, but we're in the middle of an important talk. Could you leave us to it? No, stay right there. Uh-huh. I'm at the crucial moment with this chicken here. I need you to pour me some water if it starts going down wrong. Lynn, you don't have to risk your life over chicken, you know. He's right, sheesh. Anyway, I'd better move now while I have the chance. Thanks, game, for letting me know. Okay, why isn't he a core? That's no fun. He was dead. That's funny. Okay, at least we addressed this. Even though I just saved that detective, he doesn't have a core. Not like the one Lynn has, or that valiant little doggy missile. I thought the ones I saved were supposed to develop a core when they're alive again. I guess I still have things to learn about these powers of the dead. At least I can still do the bell. Well, I'm heading back. Lots of things to do, you know. Yeah, like washing dishes and planting bugs. Someday I'll plant a big one on you, detective. Man, she just loves everybody, doesn't she? Odd girl. I agree. Me too. Listen, Lynn. You've explained your side and I understand, but there's an APB out on you. Can't you at least hurry up and get out of here? You know, quietly slip away? No, can't do. I'm meeting somebody here. Meeting somebody? Oh yeah, that's right. The little lady, Camilla. But why do you have to meet somebody here? The special investigation unit is watching this restaurant. That can't be a coincidence. I don't know, but it is a coincidence. Hey, is it true what they say? That you're still looking in Detective Jared's case on your own? 
Inspector Caminella is worried about you, you know. I understand how you feel, but just don't do anything crazy, okay? Kettle Fid, can you guys stop destroying the couch? It'd be super great if you guys could just, like, let off. So how's that chicken you've been waiting so long for? It's great. But you know, with Detective Ringe, that's his name by the way, sitting right across from me. I mean, he was just dead a few moments ago, right? It's kind of taking the edge off my appetite. Oh brother. But he's a great guy. He understands my situation, he said. He's going to give me a pass just for tonight. Speaking of Detective Ringe, I noticed something strange. He doesn't have a core now. He doesn't? I thought a core was supposed to show up once I saved somebody. Hmm, I wonder if... When you possessed his corpse, he was unconscious, right? Unconscious? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Just like you. You were unconscious the first time I saved you, too. And after I saved you, you didn't have a core either. So for people who are unconscious when you save them, no core shows up. I think that's probably what it is. Mm, that makes sense. You might be alright. You might be right. Okay, I'll leave Ringe to you, then. But I've still got lots of questions for you. Yeah, I thought you would. Let's get started, then. Let's talk about Jowd first. What is your connection to Prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd? He seems like more than just a co-worker. Yes, I suppose the right, you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Hero, huh? You don't hear that word much anymore. Well, it's an old-fashioned heroic kind of story. It happened ten years ago. You just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. On that day, ten years ago, I was playing in my favorite park. Then suddenly, somebody grabbed my arm from behind. I was so scared, I thought I was going to die. And then... He appeared. Detective Jowd. And then that really loud sound. I think it was the sound of a gun. I passed out. When I came to... You're alright now, are you hurt? You, you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. Gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. I see. So that's why you became a detective, huh? That's right. He was my ideal of what a detective was all about. But an ideal detective doesn't shoot and kill his own wife. Exactly. And that's why I want to prove that he didn't. Alright, let's talk about point X, I guess. Detective Ringe works for the Special Investigations Unit. He said an important deal is set to go down here tonight at this restaurant. A deal that could affect the future of our nation. A nation isn't something that's easily influenced, though. That's what he said. Anyway, it's that couple at the table upstairs. Alright. I hear they're foreigners. They're waiting for the other party in this deal to show up now. Those two, huh? Certainly are an odd pair. This other party they're waiting for... me? It's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Nobody really knows any of the details of this deal except for one person. Mr. Breezy Dancer in a white suit. They say he's been watching the movements of those two for a long time. I've never seen him work so frantically on an investigation before. Spectre Cabanella, eh? Apparently, you're a real favorite of his. A favorite? Yes, well, there's a reason for that. And what's that? Inspector Cabanella. Let's see what his reason is. Inspector Cabanella and Detective Jad were good friends. Yeah, I think I remember the prison guard saying something about that. They joined the detective division the very same day. Two very different types, but they were always in friendly competition to be the best. Detective Jad was always very particular and about thorough investigation of the crime scene. And Inspector Cabanella, well, I guess he just has a natural genius for investigating. Anyways, those two lead the de those two led the detective division in those days. But Inspector Cabanella is different now. He changed a little. He changed? Ever since the Detective Jad incident, now he's distanced himself from field work. He started focusing on nothing but moving up the ladder. Hmm. So that's how he became head of the Special Investigation Unit, I take it. Anyway, Inspector Cabanella took me under his wing. Because you were the little girl his good friend had saved, huh? He really looked out for me. He helped me study for my detective's exam. 
fudging my exam scores for me. Uh, that goes a little beyond the scope of looking out for you. Spectre Cabanella, I wonder what role he plays in everything that's happened tonight. Alright, let's Camilla. Sure is taking Camilla long enough. She could have should have been here by now. I'm getting really worried. You two are like sisters, aren't you? That's what Camilla said. Yep, that just about sums it up. Doesn't look like being worried affected your appetite much, though. Hey, the bigger the crisis, the more girls gotta eat. I had to make sure Camilla stays safe, no matter what. Camilla, and that music box, too. Music box? Oh yeah, that wooden box. The one that was in the roof. Yeah. That box is a present from Detective Jowd. From Detective Jowd? Yes, it was five years ago. That box arrived three days after that murder incident. He must have sent it just before he was arrested. Someday, when the case is over and everything is settled, I want you to give this to a certain person, he said. So what's inside? I don't know. I can't open it. Hmm. That's a shame. Cecil, I... Did I really shoot you? Where did that come from out of the blue? I really don't remember. I've tried and tried, but I just can't. Now I finally understand how you must feel, and how hard it is for you to have your memory gone, your story erased. But who knows? Knowing the truth might be even harder. I'd rather believe there's hope myself. Hmm. Okay, so she... is still unsure that she shot me, even though we saw it. That was great. Do I have chicken on my face? You're staring. I bet you're thinking about how impressed you are with the way I took care of that chicken. So tell me one thing. The case you say you're looking into, is it Detective Jones? What if it was? I, I can't keep it from you, it's too cruel. Huh? W what are you talking about? I'm sorry, Lynn, it's... it's tonight. Detective Jones, you know, it's tonight. His execution. But there's still time. I looked into it and found out all the executions in this country are carried out at dawn. That may be the norm, but not this time, I'm afraid. What? The execution is set for 11 p.m. What did you say? It's going to happen pretty soon. Is there anything we can do to stop it? Of course not. It's too late now. Now without a stay of execution from the Justice Minister. I'm going to see him then. What? See who? Who else? The Justice Minister. Don't be ridiculous. There's not enough time. I'm going. Sissel. Me? Get to the prison. Stop that execution. Easy enough for you to say. Detective Bringel, I'll be going now. Okay, I'll let you go this time. I'll tell him I was distracted because I was eating chicken. Is there anything else I can do? Could you find Camilla? She's supposed to be on her way here. Oh, you're a little Camilla? Okay, you got it. I'll look for her. Okay, you know what to do, Sissel. You have to save Detective Jowd. Alright, so I guess we're going to the prison to stop an execution. Somehow. The life of yet another person I'm connected to somehow is about to end tonight. Could it be a coincidence? Or is there something more behind it all? Detective Jowd is destined to be executed tonight. I don't know if that fate is the wrong one for him or the right one, but I've decided to go to the prison anyway.